Anza Borrego Desert State Park is a remarkable outdoor adventure destination located just two hours east of San Diego and three hours from Los Angeles. The 915 square mile park offers numerous possibilities for outdoor adventure and recreation, with popular activities including off-roading, hiking, camping, and mountain biking. It's home to 200 species of wildflowers, as well as plentiful wildlife, including bighorn sheep, coyotes, lizards, rattlesnakes, and roadrunners. In this guide, to help jumpstart your plans to visit the park, we'll introduce you to the various developed campgrounds, primitive campsites, and dispersed camping opportunities. I'll also link in the description below to our detailed guide to camping in the park on OutdoorSoCal.com, as well as other information on exploring Anza Borrego. There are basically two ways to camp in Anza Borrego, in established campgrounds, which come with varying degrees of amenities and cost, or in dispersed camping areas where you can set up camp where you like in accordance with a few important rules and exceptions set by the state park system. The established campgrounds range from a collection of ultra basic primitive sites with a shared vault toilet and little else, to highly developed campgrounds with showers, flush toilets, RV hookups, and even cabins for rent. Dispersed camping, where no formal campground is established, can be either car camping near one of the park's many dirt roads, or getting away from roads to camp further into the desert wilderness. Some areas of the park are closed, whether permanently, temporarily, or seasonally, to dispersed camping to conserve or restore the fragile desert ecosystem. California State Parks manages a dozen established campgrounds in Anza Borrego. These include eight primitive, first-come, first-served campgrounds, which are free but offer few amenities, and four developed campgrounds that offer more amenities to varying degrees. Three of these, Borrego Palm Canyon Campground, Tamarisk Grove Campground, and Vern Whitaker Horse Camp can be reserved online. The Park Service charges day-use fees for all of the developed campgrounds, Borrego Palm Canyon, Tamarisk Grove, Bow Willow, and the Horse Camp. Borrego Palm Canyon Campground is located just west of the town of Borrego Springs and offers easy access to Borrego Palm Canyon Trail, Panoramic Overlook Trail, and the State Park's Visitor's Center. This is the closest campground to a town, offering the added bonus of access to Borrego Springs restaurants and stores. The campground is open year-round and offers 120 campsites, including 51 full hookup RV sites as well as five group campsites. As you head into Anza Borrego from the mountain town of Julian on Route 78, Tamarisk Grove Campground is the first developed camping area you'll encounter. Located at the split of the 78, which heads east towards the town of Ocotillo Wells, and S3, which winds northeast over Yaqui Pass towards Borrego Springs, the campground includes 27 campsites and is well situated near the center of the park. Tamarisk Grove is part of a cluster of campgrounds that also include Yaqui Pass and Yaqui Wash Primitive Campgrounds. If you can't get a reservation at Tamarisk Grove, these primitive campgrounds can be a good alternative. Although it's managed by San Diego County and not officially part of the state park, Agua Caliente Campground is surrounded by Anza Borrego and is a great base for exploring the desert. The campground is known for its geothermally heated springs, which feed three pools within the campground. Two are outdoor, and one, for adults only, is indoors. The campground has 140 campsites, many with partial or full hookups, and offers cabins for rent. The two other established campgrounds in the park are Vern Whitaker Horse Camp and Bow Willow Campground. Burn Whitaker Horse Camp, located about four miles north of Borrego Springs, is a great home base for exploring the northern parts of Anza Borrego on horseback. Located in the quiet southernmost portion of Anza Borrego, 
Bow Willow Campground offers no frills camping at the foot of low hills with a sweeping view of the open desert. Of the developed campgrounds in Anza Borrego, it is the most rustic. Anza Borrego's primitive campgrounds are designated first come, first served camping areas that offer few, if any, amenities. Some of them offer vault toilets, picnic tables, and fire rings, but others are basically just bare patches of desert with some established fire rings. Camping is free at these campgrounds. There are eight established primitive campsites in Anza Borrego. We won't go into them all here, but we'll highlight just a few so you get a sense of what they offer. For details on all of them, visit the link in the description below to our guide on OutdoorSoCal.com. Please note that fires are prohibited outside of official fire rings to avoid scarring the slow to heal desert soil. Bringing a metal fire pit with you is another option. There are a number of rules for primitive campsites and dispersed camping in the park, such as limits on how far you can park a car from an established road or water source. Again, check out our guide on OutdoorSoCal.com or the State Park website for the details. Yaki Pass Primitive Campground is arguably the easiest of Anza Borrego's primitive campgrounds to access, but offers very few amenities. The campground is located in Yaki Pass, east of Tamaris Grove Campground, off Highway S3 as it crosses the mountains into Borrego Springs. This campground offers dispersed camping with no amenities, but is a good place to camp in an RV, as it is covered with gravel and fairly flat, basically a giant parking lot. There are no restrooms, so you'll need to make arrangements. Bill Canyon Trail, which starts at this campsite, is a nice little hike that brings you to some great views. Blair Valley Primitive Campground is a great base for exploring Blair Valley and Little Blair Valley, two quiet, undeveloped valleys nestled in the mountainous western portion of Anza Borrego, south of Borrego Springs. The campground is situated at an elevation of about 2,500 feet off Highway S2 down Little Blair Valley Road. The campground offers dispersed camping and a single vault toilet. There are a number of hikes in the area, including one that brings you to rocks where ancient Kumeyaay Indians drew pictographs thousands of years ago. Arroyo Salado Primitive Campground is conveniently located just off Borrego Salton Seaway, Highway S22, near the entrance to the Calcite Mine Trail and Truck Haven Trail. Amenities are limited to a couple of vault toilets, and there are no formal campsites or fire rings, so you'll need to bring a fire pit if you want a campfire. This is a great place to camp if you don't have a reservation at one of the developed campgrounds, but like the idea of having a toilet available. Akatia Wells Off-Highway Vehicle Area, a popular off-roading destination, is a few miles east of the campground. Fish Creek Primitive Campground is located on the eastern portion of Anza Borrego, south of Akatia Wells. The campground offers vaulted toilets, fire rings, and six loosely defined campsites. It's a great base for exploring the nearby Split Mountain Gorge, the Wind Caves, and the Fish Creek Vallecito Badlands. Like I said, that's just a handful of the primitive campsites available in Anza Borrego. If you can't find a site in one of the established campgrounds or just want to find more solitude, there are plenty of options for free dispersed camping in Anza Borrego. Some dispersed camping areas are relatively popular and you may well encounter other parties of campers. Look hard enough though, and you can find an isolated site to yourself. Like I said before, there are rules for dispersed camping. It's worth taking particular note of the rules about parking only a car length from the road, bringing your own fire pit, and carrying out trash, toilet paper, and human waste. Beyond car and RV camping, backpackers can camp along any of the park's trails, with the exception of areas that may be closed by the state park for conservation reasons for instance, to protect bighorn sheep watering areas. It's a good idea to check with the visitor center to get up-to-date information on backcountry camping in the park. I hope that gives you a flavor for the various camping options in Anza Borrego, as well as some ideas on where to get more information if needed. Check out the info in the description below for detailed guides. 
Also, if this was helpful, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel.